And I'm joined by Kathy Bell, founder and principal at White Blaze Creative Services, which provides creative advisory and training services for corporate teams and projects. Hello, Kathleen. Hi, Michael. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks for joining me here. Uh, so what's the importance of creativity to an entrepreneur? Uh, well, I think entrepreneurs are naturally creative people, and I think it's important for them to make sure they maintain that creativity when they start getting mixed up with funders and uh, the more corporate types. So uh, for them, it's really maintaining it as opposed to having to, to find it. You work with teams on helping them become more creative. Within business, can creativity be taught? I think it can be cultivated, and and that's a different thing from taught. Because if you look at children, children are all naturally creative. They all play pretend, even if it's as simple as saying, when I grow up, I want to be a fireman or I want to be a, a princess ballerina. So kids are all creative, and as adults, we lose that. So I think it can be cultivated or re discovered, if you will, and it's just a matter of helping people find that in a way that they are comfortable with uh, in, a, in a work environment. So in terms of creativity, what are the biggest mistakes you recognize within small businesses and entrepreneurs? Uh, maybe, uh, and going back to the entrepreneur personality, uh, finding the balance, um, because a lot of entrepreneurs uh, – have that creativity naturally and almost more sometimes than makes sense for a, a successful business venture. So I think for an entrepreneur, it's finding that balance um, of being creative and still learning to, to develop and, and launch and run a small business. Um, and then the team around an entrepreneur uh, needs to support the, the entrepreneur's creativity and the creative efforts but also still understand that that creativity needs to exist within the confines of, uh, of business principles. And once again, I'm here with Kathy Bell, White Blaze Creative Services. Oh, Kathy, what are the best couple of tips for every entrepreneur out there, regardless of industry, uh, something they can do to improve their creativity? <sighs> wow. Telling entrepreneurs how to be more creative uh, is kind of like teaching a fish to swim. Um, so, uh, because I, I work with a lot of people who need to rediscover the creativity, I think I think for entrepreneurs it's uh, a matter of kind of developing some good guardrails, um, basing their creative efforts in reality, uh, and really making sure they. They understand the market that they're in. So there are entrepreneurs out there with these astonishingly wonderful, creative new ideas, and they they need to do the research to understand where does that creativity fit in, what need does it address, uh, and, and how will this help uh, relieve a pain point in a market or a potential market. And are there ways to get into a – a creative habit. Uh, uh, developing a creative habit. Absolutely. Uh, there are so many different ways. And again, it's finding the, the thing that's right for you. Uh, there's music, there's drawing, there's color, there's singing, um, there's movement of any kind, whether it's something structured uh, like yoga or dance um, or unstructured, more just any, any kind of movement at all. Uh, so, Starting small, I think, is, is the idea um, with something that you haven't done. If you've never drawn something, uh, or if you've never painted, just setting, setting the boundaries of saying, I don't have to be good at this creative, this creative effort. I don't need to be the next Picasso or uh, anything along those lines. But just, just using that part of your brain that is free form. And that is the first step towards developing that creative pattern. 
And the last question here, for entrepreneurs who are managing small teams within their business, what's, what's a way they can help their teams to become more creative or help inspire creativity within their employees? I would say play games. Um, the nice thing about small teams is there tends to be a high level of trust. And uh, so there are, there are a number of different uh, trust games, um, outdoor kind of um, challenge games that, that small teams can use. So doing, doing anything that kind of gets them away from their desks, away from their computers, interacting but in a creative way, um, word games as well. So anything like that where it's team effort, where they're, where they're building the team bonds, but they're having to, again, use that, uh, that right side of, of their brain and just think more laterally. Great. And, Kathy, thanks again. If you want to find out more about White Blaze Creative Services, you can visit whiteblazecreativeservices.com. Kathy Bell, thanks again for your time. My pleasure. Good luck. Take care.